media doing enough to send positive images out into the community, or is it our job to pick and choose who we think is good enough to go on the air? Isaiah Carey explores that issue. We in the media have heard the criticism before. Either we're liberal, biased media, too conservative, and the one we hear the most. Why did you put that person on camera? That's the issue we explore. In this age of YouTube, the news business has created instant celebrities who have written their success to the bank. I woke up to go give me a cold pop. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Their quirky and hilarious lines have been memorized and auto-tuned to death. Right. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up. Even Fox 26 had its share of memorable TV moments. I'm investing these. Look at that. I had real. What if your child get a mulligan for a pair of shoes? While some are laughing, some are left disturbed. There's not enough positive images of black males or black females, blacks, period, in the media. And so when I step out, I have to carry uh, the burden. When you're doing certain stories, try to seek out um, different um, different groups of African Americans. Meet attorney Daryl Jordan and his wife, family physician, Dr. Rhonda Jordan. They sat down and talked with me after an original conversation that began on social media. Harry screaming. It came after some criticized Charles Ramsey for not being polished enough to be on TV. That's despite the Cleveland resident playing a crucial role in the rescue of three abducted women. He was real. The two Houston professionals differed just a bit on the image in the media issue, but they say reporters on the street should do a better job finding a true reflection of the community. If you were to have a job uh, and you don't interact with that many people of color, black, Latinos, whatever you want to be called, uh, and then you see a certain group portrayed on the news, then you think all people must be like that. Well, a lot of times they're telling stories and they're being funny. Well, I would hope that people wouldn't think that all African Americans are like, or that are like a particular like the people that are betrayed on the news. The Jordans say what appears on the news is not just for a laugh. Attorney Jordan actually adjusts his life to keep from being that stereotype that is sometimes seen on the local news. And I catch myself doing silly things like if, if I'm walking in uh, to, to a business and I open the door and then there may be a, a, a white couple, maybe five, ten feet behind me, I will stand there and hold the door open for them because I know that their experiences in life may only be what they see on the news. So how do we resolve this issue? Well, I know I can do my part by trying harder to find a diverse sampling of the community. And we also need your help to come forward for these interviews. Otherwise, we have to resort to the sweet brown types. And of course, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. Isaiah Carey, Fox 26 News. Wow, very interesting.